Visita Hari Ventana, espera le te dota. I hear you, man. Visita Hari Ventana, espera le te dota. I feel you, man. Hey guys, how's it going? It is I, the real Randy Chavez. That was my referral code that you just saw. Please use that with buying tiles because that really helps out the channel, really helps out me. And honestly, it mostly just goes to giveaways and um, stuff from my from my uh, mega city, Chavez Topia. Forgot what it was called. Uh, anyway, uh, for all of you that are new, welcome. I'm the real Randy Chavez. If you're not, welcome back. Patreon down below because I do most of this for free. Now, why am I coming to you today? Because Shane, one of the founders of Earth Two has had a uh, breaking news tweet. He didn't call it breaking news, he just tweeted, and he never tweets, so it's breaking news for us. He says, quote, Another week that just feels like a blur. I am only just now recalling meetings from days ago that I forgot even took place, exclamation point. I have meetings with two billionaires over the next week, both of them geniuses, and I'm excited about what I can learn from them for the benefit of Earth 2. Now, conspiracy theory in my mind, just blowing up. I'm just thinking Elon Musk. Okay, but I'll tell you why. I tell you why that makes the most sense or one of the most sense that I have because Elon Musk has been thinking about a couple of things. One, Tesla is not an electric car company, technically it's a software company, but he says that also think of Tesla as a dozen or so different startup companies under one roof. Now. Outside of that, he does have, you know, Dojo, the um, AI, that um, advanced AI to be able to take all these cars that are on the road. And he has about 30 billion uh, miles driven to perfect that uh, full self-driving, that full autonomous driving. And why is that important? Why are you talking about cars? Well, full autonomous driving, Elon Musk has pushed in the past saying that, hey, try Polytopia on this car. Try this on this car. He's pushing all that software, partly because it's all just free revenue for him. And it goes directly to Tesla's bottom line, but also because if you have full autonomous driving and you're, you don't need to do anything behind the wheel, which will be solved very soon, you're going to need to do something. Maybe play on your phone, maybe watch movies. For those of you that don't know, Tesla's in the center of the of the car, right where like the dashboard would be, um, like where the radio and stuff, is just a giant iPad. It's just a giant iPad, it's a center console, and what can you do? You play games on that. So if this is something that one, it, this game doesn't need to be run on the best of the best, but it can, and it will have certain benefits to that. That screen, Tesla, that's a computer. That is a, Tesla's a computer on wheels. So a billionaire, Elon Musk is the first one that comes uh, to mind because he's a meme lord. He's one of us. He is a, he's just a nerd. He's just a nerd like we are. He watches anime and he's into doge memes. And that just makes the most sense to me, or at least one of the most sense. It makes perfect sense because... Again, he's been pushing that, and if he's meeting with two billionaires, okay, well, that's one of them. The other one that only might make a little more sense than him would be Jack Dorsey. Jack Dorsey, for those of you who don't know, is the CEO of Square, which has Cash App. It owns Cash App. Now, what is Cash App? Cash App is something that I've mentioned before. It's one of those payment systems that we're probably going to be able to use. Why does it make sense for him to go to him? Oh, we need a payment system. It is also one thing to be able to, okay, take our money from our account, put it in the account, or put it into our gaming account. That's easy. Taking money out of our account into our gaming account, into our normal account, that has proven to be a little bit hard for the developers so far. Who'd you go to that? Well, Jack Dorsey makes sense, because if Cash App's gonna be one of our payment options, those that's only one problem. One problem is taking money out and putting it back into our account, back in our hands. But how do you fix that? How, do, how are you going to fix that? Okay, Cash App is going to be one, but also, how are we going to pay each other? How are we going to pay each other? Oh, you, you have something cool that I want to try. You have a game, 25 cents? Go. Yeah, take it. But how do I transfer that? How do I give that to you? Jack Dorsey is a genius. Okay, I had the option uh, last year to be able to buy either PayPal or Cash App. Uh, um, yeah, PayPal or Square. I bought Square because Jack Dorsey is so much better uh, than PayPal. He's not... He's, taken what PayPal was and just went and ran with it. And who started PayPal? It was Elon Musk. So any of these two people would be super helpful in being able to take this game to the next level. Again, you could play this in Teslas. You could use Elon Musk's knowledge to say, oh, hey, who created PayPal? Elon Musk. And then you could say, okay, well, who's best now 
at person-to-person -person finance. Okay, well, that's Jack Dorsey. You make an argument, Peter Thiel, who's another billionaire, um, and he's one of the smartest guys in the world. Yeah, maybe it's him. But he doesn't seem like the type of guy to play video games. Jack Dorsey, Elon Musk, we know plays video games. Now, outside of that, um, I'm going to say there's a couple of newbies. Not newbies, just a couple. They're, they're billionaires. Uh, Gary Vaynerchuk would be one of the people I would put on that list. But to my knowledge, he's not a billionaire yet. He has several hundred million, but he's not there yet. Uh, a couple people were saying, like, oh, is it Keemstar? Like, Keemstar has a couple million dollars. Like, compared to, like, billion, like small, small, small time stuff. Not, not even on Gary Vaynerchuk's level. Um, that being said, he's got several million followers on Twitter, two or three million. And yeah, uh, you know, he's been all about this game for months now. So I'm, I'm very excited to see what he can bring in. Same with Logan Paul. Now, other people, uh, Gabe Newell. Gabe Newell is about worth $4.1 billion and he heads up Valve Corpor Corporation, creator of some of the most recent, uh, iconic franchises in recent history. So he's someone that he might be able to learn from. Uh, Dingley is someone uh, also known as William Ding, but Dingley. Uh, basically, he's worth a lot of money too, about $17 billion. He's the founder of the internet giant NetEase, and that was also China's first gaming billionaire. So it would make sense if you want to get in good with China to go with him. Now again, out of Elon Musk and Jack Dorsey, maybe you only get one of them, and maybe these are the other ones. But yeah, if you want to get in good with China, uh, de definitely do this. Jack... Jack Ma, I don't think, is someone that I would go with. He's the um, CEO of Alibaba. Now, he likes games. He likes Go. He is pretty into uh, artificial intelligence himself. But he has also said some very bad things about um, about China and, and just their government. And even though he's from there, um, he actually... We were speculating that he was not doing so well and that they took him out because... He was dis he disappeared for like four weeks, um, but um, he's not he's alive. But that's just another person that I thought um, would be on the list, but just not likely. Just probably not likely. So outside of William Ding, uh, we're gonna have I'm gonna have a hard time pronouncing this. Hyuk Bin Kwan, uh, four point nine billion in the fifteen years since uh, Kwan Hyuk Bin founded Smilegate. It has grown to one of South Korea's biggest game companies. South Korea is not too far away from Australia. And like I said, they are one of the smartest peoples in the world, South Koreans. So like I said, when, um, telling people to buy it like $1 or $2. Now I think those tiles are at like $7, something like that. South Koreans know what they're doing. Uh, Ma Hua Tang is the last one. He is, uh, Tencent is a giant uh, company in China. And Ma Hua Tang is its founder. Tencent is a very good stock as well. He's the chairman and CEO. He's also the fourth wealthiest man in the country according to Forbes. So those are my guys that I think he might be meeting with. Uh, again, Elon Musk and Jack Dorsey, my number one and two, the rest of those guys, <laughs> not number three through six. So let me know what you guys think. Everyone also, uh, please type in F in the chat for Shane's sleep cycle and say, go to sleep, Shane. Please comment, like, and subscribe. Comments are good for the YouTube algorithm. I love you all. Goodbye. Meow, 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 meow. Dash, meow, meow.